if you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? Um, I'd probably have to say how my relationships with people have like evolved because I've gotten the chance to meet a lot of really great people recently and just get to know people. So I feel like, like in the future, I just would like to see how those friendships that I've just formed with people have evolved. Cause I could see a lot of people that I've met recently becoming some of my lifelong friends. And also people that I've worked with, just people that have just shown me a lot of stuff and just kind of been meant like a mentor to me. I would just like to see like how I've gotten to work with them throughout the future, because I'm sure that these people that I've worked with nowadays, I'm gonna cross paths with them in the future. And I'm just really interested to see how my relationships with them turn out. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? Um, so I actually got to have my dream vacation last year. Me and my entire family, we went to Hawaii. And ever since that trip, that's just become like my absolute dream vacation every year. Like I'd love to go back to Hawaii. I'd love just to spend the time with my family because it was just a great family experience just to get to experience all the things in Hawaii. Like we got to go um, scuba diving. We got to experience a luau and it just was an all around great experience. And that's just really become my dream vacation from now on. If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? I'd have to say my three biggest musical inspirations were, would be the people that I would want to meet. Um, those are Bruno Mars, The Weeknd, and Tyler, The Creator. I feel like just all three of those are just such amazing artists in every way and everything they do is just really inspiring and it would just be a dream come true to get to meet any one of them. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Honestly, I just have to say, be authentic because as long as you're yourself, people are gonna like you for who you are and want to follow you and see all the things that you do. So authenticity is really the best thing you can bring to the table as someone who's in the spotlight. Just use your um, use your platform to do good and just to spread positivity all around because people, people really need positivity in their lives because just being positive just really brings happiness to everyone that you touch. So everyone's just gonna see that authenticity and see how real you are and they're gonna like you for it. So that's the best advice I can give. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Okay, so this is, this is actually pretty funny. So basically when I was in first grade, I had my very first, like one of my very first performances and I was at a talent show at my school. And um, so I went up there and I was singing and playing a song on the piano. And then I messed up on the piano and then everyone in the auditorium started clapping and it just kind of freaked me out. So I got up and I bowed and I ran off the stage instead of finishing the song. But one thing that I'm really appreciative of is that that was really a learning experience for me just to keep going no matter what and not only was that did that have to do with like performing on stage it really had to do with life in general like if not if life knocks you down or if something doesn't go exactly perfectly like you wanted to go just keep going because the right thing's going to come to you and that really helped build my confidence even though i was pretty devastated after it happened um it really just led to me being more confident in myself so what is your biggest pet peeve mm, i'd probably have to say when I hold the door open for someone and they just don't say thank you. Because I feel like if you hold the door open for someone and you're like having them walk in and they just walk past you and brush past you really quick, it's just kind of like, really? Like, you just, can you just say thank you? Like, it's not really that difficult. So that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. What is your favorite birthday memory? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Definitely, I'd have to say my last birthday that I had, my 16th birthday, it was just really incredible because I got to film a movie while I got to celebrate my birthday. So all throughout like the beginning of the day, I was on set for um, the Christmas movie that I'm in called Miracles Across 125th Street. And then I was actually in Atlanta, I wasn't even at home. So I got to um, just experience my birthday in like a different state. And then later on in the day, we all went to the sugar factory and it was just like a really, really great birthday because like, People that were in the cast, people that are like my friends, like they all got to go and just have a great time. There was music and it was just a really great birthday because I didn't think I was gonna really get to celebrate because I was in um, Atlanta last minute to film a movie. But um, I, it just was really, it really turned into something special and I was really appreciative of everyone who made that happen. What is your goal for where you'll be three years from today? Hopefully I'm gonna be performing like some some type of way like maybe on a tour or something like that because performing is really what I love to do and like the whole pandemic kind of prevented that from happening for a while so just three years from today I'm hoping just to be 
maybe on a tour or something or just at least doing something that has to do with performing because I really miss performing. I haven't got to do it as much recently. So hopefully I'll be performing. If you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? I would have to say Fiji. That's always been a really ideal place for me to want to go one day. And it just seems like an incredible place because there's a completely different lifestyle out there. There's just so much stuff to see and it just seemed like a really great place to go and visit. If you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Okay, um, first of all, I would say passionate because I'm really passionate about what I do with like acting and music. So I'm a passionate person. Um, second of all, I'd have to say caring because I'm just really caring for my family, my friends, and everyone who I have a connection with. Third of all, I'd have to say driven because anytime that I have like a goal, I'm always really driven to get to that goal. So I'm gonna do everything that I can just to make sure that I reach that goal and not only reach it, I surpass it. And then fourth of all, I have to say I'm laid back because I'm pretty chill, go with the flow. So um, I'm definitely laid back. What is your favorite holiday? Okay, that's actually a really hard question to answer because there's two holidays that I really love for like completely different reasons. Like I really love Christmas because I just really enjoy getting to spend the time with my family and eat good food with them and just having a great time with them overall. And then secondly, Halloween, I just love like the spooky vibes you get from like the entire season. But if I had to really pick one, I'd have to say Christmas just because just getting to spend the time with my entire extended family is just a blessing. Which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? Um, just getting to be on a Netflix sitcom family reunion is just a huge accomplishment because it's a testament to everything that I've been working towards because just going on auditions and just not booking anything for like a long period of time and never giving up, always telling myself that the right opportunity is gonna come to me. That all came together when I booked Family Reunion and just getting to work on that set with just such amazing people has really been a once in a lifetime experience and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I'm really, really proud of my, myself just getting to be, just, just getting to be like on a show like that and just getting to be on a show that teaches so many great lessons to kids all over the world, so. Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? I have to say my family and my friends because just getting to see everything, everyone updating what they're doing, that's like one thing that I love about social media is that it's able to connect so many people. So even if I have family that don't live in the same state that I do, like live out of state or live somewhere else, I still get to see what they're doing and just still get to feel connected with them because I'm able to see everything they, they, they post online and just, I still, I still feel like I'm able to have that form of communication with them and getting to see everything they're doing. So I definitely love to follow my family, my friends. Well, I just wanna give a big thank you to Famous Birthdays for allowing me to do this Q&A. I had a great time answering a few questions for everyone. Have a good one.